Hi, I'm Andrew Moy with Tight Lines Fly Fishing in Parsippany, New Jersey. Today we're going to be talking, in this Bay video, we're going to be talking about uh, the bottom hand and relationship uh, with the bottom hand and the body and the top hand and how everything relates and how to use everything. So in some previous videos, we talked about using our body and then follow through. Okay, and, and in the follow through is when that bottom hand get, should get positioned. So if you watch here, if I just keep both hands quiet, quiet meaning don't move them around, don't move my arms, don't move my elbow, don't move my shoulder joint. All I'm doing is holding the rod still. I'm going to move the rod with my feet. I'm going to use my feet and then follow through. And that's when my hands are going to position. My bottom hand and top hand will position to cast forward. And then we'll talk about using it. So lift, let's say, we're going to do a switch cast, lift, body, follow through. And you can see my hands float into position. Now, if you look, my hands were going up rather than continuing back on the follow through. So in other words, if I use my body, shift my body, and then my hands continue back, what I'm doing is I'm dropping the D-loop and I'm losing control of the rod tip. Okay, when we get, when we get, when we follow through, our hands should come up rather than, again, going back. And what that's going to do is it's going to take the pressure off of going back. Once you're past, once you're at perpendicular at 3 o'clock relative to your target at 12 o'clock, you're not loading the rod anymore. You're basically unloading the rod and following through to position your hands with the D-loop. Okay, if you're applying pressure and trying to still make a back cast and you're already through 3 o'clock, you're kind of, you're, you're, you're going to over-rotate. Okay, you're going to go too far back. So it's going to be lift, body, follow through up. Now, when you get to here, the body always starts each stroke. If you notice, so we use body and then hands to follow through. And then going forward, we're going to use body and then hands to make the cast. And you can see I'm using my bottom hand to, to create that energy in the rod and to fire that and make that rod turn over sharply. So I'm shifting my weight. This is loading the rod. This is also aligning the D-loop, putting pressure. And we're going to get into another video on aligning the D-loop and how all that works. Um, it's putting pressure on the rod, and the weight shift is loading the rod. And then as that rod is loaded, and I'm feel, as I'm starting to get towards perpendicular, I am then firing the rod using my bottom hand. And a little twitch of the upper body. So basically it's going to be, it's going to be, bottom hand and a little twitch of the upper body to fire the rod tip on a straight line. Very important that we're drawing a straight line. Okay, so let's get that line back here. So lift, rotate, follow through, shift, and then use your hands. And I'm basically just throwing my hands. Quick movement, sharp and quick. A little bit of body gets your hands moving. Once your hands in motion, you can make it quick. It's like any sport. If you're going to throw a football, you don't just stand like a tree and just use your arm. This, this is going to, you're not going to get any energy. You can throw the ball, but you're not going to get any energy on it. You're not going to be able to throw a tight spiral on it. You're using a little bit of body and then spiral. It's like hitting a baseball. Okay, you're starting with your lower, your lower body. Your hands come last. And when you use your hands, you're building some momentum in your hands using your body, and then your hands are quick. And that's the same thing in fly casting and in spay casting. Your hands should be quick at the end to fire the energy you built with your body. So... One more time, lift, sweep, shift, fast hands. And you can see my hands were really fast that time, and I got more energy out of the line. The line shot a lot faster. So just a little quick video on hands, uh, using the bottom hand. Hope this helps you.